what's up guys uh, Captain Tactical here uh, something I want to start doing on my channel is uh, I showed you guys how to tie a sea witch now I'm going to show you uh, different sea witches and I'm going to do a sea witch of the week um, this week I'm going to do uh, what I call the watermelon some other guys call uh, the electric chicken uh, it's a pink on green uh, combination um, so what you're going to need for this is you're going to need uh, some wax line uh, right about two feet is what you want um, this is a half uh, ounce little lead head uh, I go ahead and get one of the green paint to match the green skirt or paint one green uh, any color it doesn't really matter because it's going to be inside the green uh, skirt there so and so you and here you go and the green squid skirt uh, this is a three inch green squid skirt uh, the eyes it doesn't matter if it has eyes or not some have come with little eyes on them some don't doesn't matter uh, this is a pink uh, nylon I believe this is a nylon uh, some type of synthetic hair and uh, then your scissors for trimming it up after you are uh, done so uh, I guess uh, I'll go ahead and get started so first you're going to want to uh, lay out your uh, two feet of uh, wax line then you're going to want to take your squid skirt, which you have inserted the head, slide it right up in there nice and snug and tight. And uh, so you put the head in there. And so you want to lay it right across the uh, wax line. So that way the wax line falls right in these grooves here that you see. The wax line will fall right in there. And you can't, it's hard to see, but it is still there. When you pull it tight, it will cinch down in those grooves. Um, so then you want to pull off. A, a little section of hair. Uh, you, now these baits are really good for yellowfin uh, in the springtime here off the Outer Banks. So what uh, I like to do for particularly yellowfin, uh, they're kind of a picky fish, so I like to put a small, very small amount of hair on here. Uh, but if you like a little more, put a little more. You know, to each his own. It's really just a matter of what you like. People always say, "What uh, what's the best lure?" And I say, "Well, whatever you got, it's whatever you drag is the best one." You know, I mean, it's the one you're going to catch the fish on, right? So, anyway, do your surgical knot. You just uh, showed you before. You just take and just wrap it overhand once, twice, three times. Make sure you get it right in those little grooves. Now you're just going to, want to take your hand, your fingers, and just going to want to roll the hair around and uh, try to get it as even as you want, can because you don't want the hair piled up on one side where there's no hair on one side and too much on the other. It's going to make your bait want to flop to one side, spin, all kinds of problems. So just want to try to get it nice and even. Um, so just take your time and Try to get it nice and spread out here. And remember your first knot just kind of holds it in place so you can roll it around. It's the second one here that you're going to make. You flip it over. And this second knot here is going to cinch everything down and uh, make it permanent. And so you just go ahead and take it and uh, like to open it up. Make sure the hair is rolled out nice and easy before I tie it anymore. Because the more you tie it, the more permanent it is. So go ahead and get it like you want it. And then just repeat that process of uh, the surgical knot process of tying it, flipping it, tying it, flipping it. And uh, do it over and over again here. And I'd say I like to do it ten times at least five on each side um, now some guys will say do it 20 some guys will say doing it just those first two is enough as long as you're going to put some glue on there I don't like to put glue on there because you take that risk of all this hard work you've done by putting that glue on there the glue might run down the hair and harden the hair and once the hair is hard it's not going to have that same effect. It's not going to fall back and swim nicely. It's going to have uh, 
places that protrude and stick out hard points and so I, I don't like to take that risk of uh, gluing it and although some guys have little stands and all these clever little ways of gluing so they don't mess it up and I say tie it right catch a couple fish cut the hair off and tie a new one so but just uh, just keep repeating the process until you get where you think it's done so now on the same side remember we just taken do our surgical knot one two three one two three and then we finish it off with just one and a two and finish it off now we're just going to want to cut this excess hair off here excess string or uh, wax line rather not hair uh, but we are going to want to cut the excess hair off see how it just kind of a bunch of extra hair here going to want to take our scissors going to need good uh, scissors I like fabric scissors are good uh, chicken scissors a lot of guys use fishing they work good but you got to have good scissors in order to trim this hair so just take and walk right around him here just be careful not to cut the uh, green squid skirt which I just did but you know a little bit it's no big deal but you want to keep that because you need that green and then that contrast this is what makes the uh, watermelon special or the electric chicken just depends on who you're talking to um, I like to take and pull the hair in my hand go just past the head and then snip it um, that's probably five inches I'd say um, so that way the hair will fall back and see it's nice and thin um, which is you'll see some of my heads are thicker I tie just depends on what I'm targeting but for yellow fin this is what I like so here in the spring uh, time here on the coast uh, on the outer banks of North Carolina we like to uh, put that thin haired rig out there but here you have it this is the uh, watermelon brought to you by uh, Captain Tactical this is my uh, sea witch of the week